of inmates, old wiring, and outdated equipment are all reasons why the Hayes County Sheriff is pushing for a brand new jail. Earlier this week, the Hayes County Commissioners voted to pursue a November bond election that could do just that. KXAN's Lauren Landman took an inside tour of the facility today to see firsthand what officials say needs to change. Keep it clean. We paint, but you can see the rust here. It only takes a few minutes walking through the Hayes County Jail before you start to see its age. We've uh, taped over them right here because these are all pushed so much. Now they're opening and closing doors back there, and that's 24-7. Along with technical issues, the jail is overcrowded. It was built 27 years ago to hold 300 beds. Today, it has 403. That means more than 100 inmates are sent to jails outside the county. That process has cost taxpayers right at $1 million in the past 14 months, which is why Sheriff Cutler is pushing for a bond to build a new jail. We knew the day was going to come when we, we were just growing too much and too fast, and that day came about two years ago. If approved, the sheriff tells me they won't be going far. In fact, all they have to do is fix some issues with flooding, and then they can move just right next door. The upgrades aren't only ideal for those running the jail. Inmates are pushing for them, too. I spoke with a head cook who asked not to show his face, but says outdated kitchen appliances has made his job for the past five months a little more difficult as he cooks for the other inmates. It is kind of hard to work in here, but, I mean, for what we got, we have to make do, but I would love another kitchen if I'm here. Sheriff Cutler says the new jail would have a new kitchen and almost double the amount of beds, which he says would save taxpayers money in the long run. Reporting in Hayes County, Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Now, the county is still trying to determine how large this bond should be, but a decision on that is expected before August. What a